Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a question from Sanjay who uh, gave me a question on reach.me. You can check out the link here if you're interested in, in give me a question here. I don't always respond by YouTube. If I do, you get a longer response. Otherwise, it's, I think, a one or two minute response. Unless you pay for the longer response, which you can do if you want a private one. If you probably want, if you want to do that, though, you might want to look at the coaching that I offer on Simple Programmer. If I have slots available, I don't offer too many slots, but I will put a link here for the Simple Programmer coaching. If you're interested, this will be in the cards and it'll be in the description below. I thought this was a pretty interesting question as I just finished launching the audio version of my book. And Sanjay says, uh, why do you launch? And a lot of successful internet marketers decide to write a book and do a book launch. A book takes the most amount of time to create and in general are sold for very cheap versus audio slash video. Therefore, financially, it doesn't seem too lucrative. Furthermore, if you write a book that isn't good, this could hurt your brand and reputation. On the surface, a book launch doesn't seem like it's worth doing, but I know there's something to this. Could you elaborate? So I have to agree. In general, it doesn't make sense to write a book. A book is one of the least profitable things that you can create, for sure. You know, you. I mean, if you think about it, like I'm selling... You know, it depends on the time you're watching this video. But right now, I'm selling the Kindle version of the Complete Software Developer's Career Guide, right? This big book. And we, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to grab the book because I'm too lazy. But <laughs> this big-ass 800-page book that took me basically like a year to complete from writing to editing and revising and launching. I'm selling it for like $4.99, which is pretty sad, right? And I'm not getting all of that. Amazon is getting, getting that. And it's part of Simple Programmer, so I'm splitting it you know, as part of the business income. So I'm not even getting that, you know, myself as an author. So why would I do this? What, what the heck would possess someone to spend this much time, right? And in, compa in comparison, especially if I decide to make the Complete Software Developer's Career Guide, if I made a video course out of it, okay, instead, which I still may do, but if I did that instead, it would have taken me less time, right? It it, writing 800 pages is a lot. 200,000 words, that's a lot. Recording videos, that could be done in a week, right? It would have, so it would have taken less time, less effort. I would have, I could have priced the thing at three or $400, maybe $500, you know, depending on, on what I put in there, right? It's, it's not unheard of to have video courses that are a thousand bucks or 2000 bucks. Okay. So I could have made a lot more money. So why, why then why write a book? So there's a couple of reasons, right? And I've written two books. I've written Soft Skills, Software Developer's Life Manual. I guess I should grab the books now. But, you know, I've written these two books, okay? And you know, so, so why did I do this? So the first book I wrote, Soft Skills, Software Developer's Life Manual, that book was traditionally published. So it was put, published by a publishing company called Manning, okay? So I was an author, you know, I... I, did, I made very little money on that book. I mean, I made some money, but, you know, basically most authors make about 10% on books. You, you know, you can negotiate and whatnot, but for the most part, you're going to make 10% of the, of the profits on the book. And so that's not a lot, right? It takes, it takes a lot of effort and, and, and work to do that. But guess what? I'm a published author now. So there's a certain amount of clout that, you know, and still today, even, even today, even the self-publishing industry, and being a published author, okay, that's, you know, it's, it's, it's something that you can't just like, it's like getting, it's like becoming sir, right? Like you have to be, it's like being knighted, right? Like you can't just bestow that upon yourself. Although I did interview someone who did sort of do that, but regardless, for most people, you, you can't really do that yourself, right? You have to have someone who's published you and, and it's a, it's a good, like, resume builder, it, it says that, you know, you're a published author, right? That's, it opens up opportunities and windows, uh, opens windows, it opens doors of opportunity for you by having that. Uh, but, uh, you know, and there's also some, some potential of, of commercial success, but so that's one reason for, for doing it is, is for, is for that, is it can help establish you. It can help build a brand and reputation for you, right? More so than it doesn't matter if you publish some course, right? If it, who cares if you're selling some course that you publish on your website, it doesn't matter. Even courses on Pluralsight, it doesn't matter. It's a bigger thing to be a published author because there is a larger, you know, as much as I dislike gatekeepers, you can check out my video on I hate gatekeepers in the card or the description below, but there, there's something to be said about having gatekeepers and, 
and having passed them that give you a certain amount of credibility, certain people respect that. Okay. That, and other people, they, they, they respect that more than they should. Okay. That's just, it's just perceptions are everything in reality and they, they creates a high perception value. Okay. The other thing about publishing, okay. And, and for my second book, I self published it. So I made more money and actually make some pretty decent money off of the book. Right. I think right now it's probably generating about somewhere between seven to $10,000 a month across all the versions from the Kindle to the print book to the audio version. Okay. So that's pretty good. That's profit wise. So that's, that's good. I mean, I have a huge audience, so that's one of the reasons why, and it was a lot of work. You know, if I did a course instead, I probably could generate a lot more money than that. So even though that's generating a lot of money, like relatively speaking, it's still not a lot compared to what, what it potentially would do by a course. So why? So another good reason for, for doing a book launch in this case is because by writing a book, you reach a, a larger market. So if you look at, at, at both of my books, but especially the Complete Software Developer's Career Guide, it's it's a lot of content. It's good material. I mean, I put my heart and soul into it. I don't want to, you know, say that it's just for advertising, but it's also a big, you know, the, the reason why I did it, why I spent the time and effort to write this book and publish it the way I did is because it brings people into simple programmer. You read that book, there's a lot, you know, you can download the digital toolkit, which you sign up for via your email address, okay? It, it advertises some of my other products in there, right? It gonna, it's gonna generate a lot of more sales and commissions off of that, and it's gonna reach more people that I couldn't reach normally, right? Because it's going in the Amazon marketplace, and it's going to other bookstores and marketplaces out there, it's reaching other people, that I might not be able to reach in another way. So it's sort of an evangelizing tool, right? It's sort of a missionary. The book is a missionary going out there to get converts, okay, in, in fresh new lands that I'm not familiar with, right? I'm already going around knocking door to door, giving people pamphlets in my neighborhood, okay? But I don't I don't have anyone in New Guinea, right? I just sent I just sent a boat full of missionaries to New Guinea and now they're going to they're going to bring back some natives and convert them over and bring them into the fold. Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? So a book is really like a missionary mission if if you if you know if you <laughs> want to use that analogy. And and that's that's one of the main reasons to do it is because you're going to reach new markets, right? You're going to reach new people. And that, and that, that's really it. I mean, that's, a, you know, I mean, you could say like a distant third would be that there's something about writing that, you know, to convey your thoughts in writing that has an appeal, but it's also a lot of fucking torture. So that's, <laughs> that's really not a good, good reason. But I would say that most people that do this, the reason why I do it is, like I said, is it builds a credibility. There's something about being a published author that you can't duplicate just by creating your own courses and then secondary it's missionary missionary work right you're, you're creating that book and even though it doesn't generate you as much money directly by building the audience by building the name by building your reputation you're pulling in more people the readers of the book right you're getting to places where it's not just people that are visiting your youtube channel or your website right it's people that are buying books that are in bookstores that are looking on amazon and you're reaching those those people okay it, it's sort of like you know, like you would do with advertising, with paid advertising, except that it's better than paid advertising because they're paying you to advertise, right? You're getting money for the book and you're getting to advertise in front of people. So that that's a, the big thing. But if you're starting a business, okay, and you're trying to make money, let's say you had an email list, you had a thousand people on your email list, don't launch a book. Bad idea. And the other thing that you have to do to be able to launch a book successfully and make money is you have to have a huge audience already, right? But books are successful, not based on what's written in them, but it's based on the audience of the author. Honestly, that's, that's the thing. I, my books are good, but if I, they could be just as good and I could have 50 people on my email list or 50 people on my YouTube channel and it wouldn't fucking matter, right? It just wouldn't fucking matter because it would it'd be very low probability of, of enough of a fire sparking for people to actually pick up the book and, and start reading it and for it to become popular, right? So that's the other thing to consider here. There you go. I hope that helps you. If you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button below. Click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.